Welcome everyone to Lost Worth, a documentary showcasing the Worth Way, a forgotten seven mile railway linking three bridges with the town of East Grinstead. Let's start with a few facts. The Worth Way was part of the Three Bridges Tunbridge Wells Central Line. Construction started in 1853 and the line was opened on the 9th of July 1855 by the then uh, so called East Grinstead Railway Company. The last train to pass along the line was on the Sunday, the 1st of January, 1967. The closure was due to the beaching cuts of the 1960s. This occurred because cars were becoming the desired way of travel, so railways were losing a lot of money resulting in closures, but now the tables are turning again. On this first part of the journey, we'll be walk walking between three bridges, which you can see marked out on the map for just over a mile to the M23 motorway on the edge of Crawley. There is the current Three Bridges station which is on the Brighton main line with the Arran Valley line running west towards Horsham and other destinations on the Sussex coast. This is where the railway curved off to the east where it used to pass is now the old signalling centre. Now standing in the park just off Billington Road you can see the railway embankment curving off. Now we see the beginning of the trail, let's begin and also keep our eyes peeled for the any old remnants of the past. Starting off with a gentle 1 in 88 gradient, which if you don't know means every 88 metres we travel forward, we're going up by 1 metre in height. On this first section, same as throughout, we can see old fence posts, which would have likely held electrical wires and signalling wires along the line. The old alignment is very much visible and is obviously now a public way, in a slight cutting now as we get closer to Church Road. This is the point where we will have to walk alongside the cutting due to the overgrown track bed. Also, if we carry on, we will come across an old landfill site which was dumped in the cutting in the 70s. Going across the cutting on Church Road, we can see an old railway bridge, and you can tell it is something railway related due to its distinctive design. From this point on, for the next half mile, we will be walking along Church Road and a private road, so see you at the next main point. We've now made it to the first major point in our journey, this being the M23, which was built after the railway was closed and was built over the track bed. So let's continue off the track bed for the next three quarters of a mile. From where we are now, it's only a mile and a half to Rofant Station. This is the second part of our journey, so let's get going. You can see the old track alignment just about, or at least the place where it would have been passing through the field. As we get closer to the road again, you can visibly see the track bed again, going straight through the small, uh, this small area of greenery. Once back on the path of the railway, we can almost see a straight path to Rofant Station, which from here is just over half a mile. Also visible is the old fence posts again, as well as what could be an old boundary fence to the railway. Now we are at the first station stop, Rofant. The station building still remains and is now a private residence. This station building was opened in 1855 and shut when the line closed in 1967. It was joined with Kingscote Station in terms of the least amount of revenue made on the London Brighton South Coast Railway Network. And obviously a little thing, Kingscote Station is still open today on the Bluebell Railway. Now leaving Rofant, it's around a mile and a half to Grange Road Station, which is in the settlement, settlement of Crawley Down. But let's get going. For just a few hundred metres we have to walk off the track alignment due to the modern coalesce depot which has been built in the way. Another sign of what used to be just outside of Rofant, although the actual bridge span is gone, you can still see the side bits of the bridge. Now from this location it's just over a mile to Grange Road Station which is in the settlement of Crawley Down. We are slowly making our way up a gradient and the embankment is getting higher and higher but as we approach Crawley down the opposite starts to happen. The land comes up and we go through a cutting. Also I noticed a little bridge over a tiny stream which could be an old railway sleeper. As we come into Crawley down we see a gem of a site, quite a spectacular arched original bridge crossing the cutting, this carrying Turner's Hill Road. This was the spot of our second stop out of three bridges, this being Grange Road, the station that served the tiny settlement of Crawley Down. 
There is really no remains of the station apart from a pub called The Carriage, which lies on old station clothes. Also, the road around the corner is called Grange Road. The station opened in 1860 with a later extension in 1876, but after 107 years in use, closed in 1967 as a result of the closing. For the next few hundred metres, we are travelling on the road, so let's skip to the next actual bit of track bed. Now making our way out of Corley Down, it's just under three miles to our final destination, East Grinstead. A post or possibly a sleeper which could have been a sign of what used to be. From here, it's quite a gentle walk on a slight embankment as we come into East Grinstead, we yet again start seeing quite a few remnants of the railway. As you can see, there is quite a few old bridges along here and an even more modern one, most likely built before the railway closed. There is even a wall of sleepers, or at least that's what it looks like. And here is a grand sight, the 210 metre long Imberhorn Viaduct, which crosses over Imberhorn. Built from 1880 to 1882, which carries the Blue Bull Railway into East Grinstead Low Level Station. On the day of the walk, the railway is closed due to the pandemic. Now approaching the end of the trail, the first sign is the railway station car park, which towers above the path. Here is the railway station that is still in operation today, with frequent trains to London. This is actually not the station the Worthway went to, we head to East Grinstead High Level Station. Here we can see the old remains of a bridge which would have crossed over the A22, which at the time of the railway's closure probably would have been a smaller road down to the low level station. As you can see from the air, not really anything remains of the high level railway station. Where the track bed went now is the A22, and coincidentally the road is named after Dr Beechin, the man who shut the railway. The high level station opened in 1883 and closed in 1967. It used to get services to three bridges as well as to Tun Tunbridge Wells and beyond to London. Trains to London were possible using this section of track, which took the line down to the lower lines, and it's called St Margaret's Loop. And that does conclude our journey today along the Worth Way. From this point the line goes on into the Forest Row, which takes you the rest of the way to Eridge, where the Spa Valley Railway then continues to Tunbridge Wells West. But that's it from me, hope everyone has enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.